Number five, arrange the following types of attractions in order of increasing strength. So increasing strength, starting from low, starting uh, going to high. So number one is going to be the weakest. Number four is going to be the strongest. Okay. Now, uh, before I actually start listing these things, let's make sure we understand what we're talking about here. Hydrogen bonding. This is an IMF. This is what we talked about in the, the video lecture. Dipole, dipole. That's also an IMF intermolecular force and in fact hydrogen bonding is a specific type of dipole dipole and then the other type of intermolecular force that we discussed was London dispersion forces what's this ionic intermolecular for well there it's not it's not intermolecular this is intramolecular this is ionic bonding an ionic bond okay so this is not an IMF this is an intramolecular bond okay <coughs> So if we start with the weakest possible uh, attraction, London dispersion forces. Okay, it's instantaneous and only happens basically by luck, if you want to think about it in that way. Uh, just the fortuitous movement of the electrons around the nucleus results in an instantaneous dipole, and it's not there for very long, and it's not even uh, that great, that large of a dipole moment. So that's, that's pretty weak. Uh, now when we have actual dipole dipoles, we have the choice of dipole-dipole and hydrogen bonding. Which one do I list first? Well, we want to remember from the video lecture that hydrogen bonding is a specific type of dipole-dipole that is especially strong. So your general dipole-dipole is going to be weaker than hydrogen bonding. Now, an ionic bond is the strongest thing that's listed here. Now, you can figure this out through concept, but I'll just tell you why. When you have dipole-dipole, when you have hydrogen bonding, when you have London dispersion forces, you have partial charges, right? Right? You got that weird symbol. Partial positives or negative. These are partials. Okay? The magnitude of the charge is smaller than a fully charged positive ion being attracted by a fully charged negative ion. The magnitude of those charges are larger. And that idea is present in the fact that we call this a partial positive or a partial negative. 